All right, starting this morning, face masks are optional for children in schools under the Catholic Diocese of Covington. This after a federal judge issues a temporary restraining order against Governor Andy Bashir's mask mandate. WCPO 9 News reporter Allie Kramer joins us uh, with reaction from local educators. Uh, strong words from that federal judge, Allie. Oh yeah, absolutely. And this is the first day that that new mask mandate or temporary restraining order actually goes into effect. This comes after a judge Williams Bertelsman handed down this ruling. It just happened last night. He called Bashir's mandate quote tyranny. Uh, so all of this unfolding, uh, you know, just in the last couple of hours, Bertelsman also said that Bashir quote cannot simply ignore laws passed by elected representatives, including those passed by the Kentucky General Assembly early there, earlier this year regarding his quote emergency powers. Now the plaintiff in this case claimed that masks uh, that masks impact students academically and emotionally. Now this temporary restraining order only applies to the schools in the Diocese of Covington. And we spoke to an attorney who's been part of the ongoing battle with masks and he says that it really should be left to schools to make their own rules. But I don't think this one size fits all approach is appropriate. You know, what may be uh, appropriate for a crowded uh, public school in Jefferson County may not be appropriate for a rural religious school in the middle of nowhere in Kentucky. And, you know, I think um, this really allows that kind of flexibility for people to make their own decisions. A superintendent of the Diocese of Covington, Kendra McGuire, issued a statement saying in part, since the case activity is currently high in Kentucky, we do encourage families to continue the use of masks as a preventative measure. However, the use of masks will remain optional until additional decisions are made by the court or a school temporarily requires masks due to high case activity in their local schools. Uh, Governor Bashir's office already criticizing this ruling, saying that it puts thousands of children at risk. Um, you know, it's really this sort of thing saying, OK, now we're going to say, no, you don't have to mandate masks. But the diocese says, but they're optional and we recommend them if your students want to wear them. So, uh, you know, it's again all about kind of having the control and giving that to each individual school. Uh, coming up at 630, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, why that mask mandate came into play in the first place, because Bashir says that ICUs in Kentucky are filling up and uh, we're live outside St. Elizabeth in Edgewood this morning talking about exactly how full they are and the other hospitals across the tri-state. That story in just about 30 minutes. For now, we'll send it back to you guys. Look forward to your report. Up next, thanks, Al.